As I gazed from the deck, I was confronted with a sight of plastic. No matter what time of day I looked, bottles, bottle caps, wrappers, fragments, Did you know that there's a giant trash island floating towards us? Like, stuff like this we just keep putting into the ocean, right? Well, gradually over time it accumulates and it just forms this giant island of trash. Do you think a remote's on that island? They talk as though history were an event yet to come. As though history were over and we simply linger however unconsciously. But more than anything, plastic is the very idea of its infinite transformation. It is ubiquity made visible. But plastic remains impregnated throughout with wonder. It's less a thing than the trace of a movement. Always do this. I know it's me. I'm like the worst person in the world. Literally the whole world. No, you're not. Like I, I'm the worst person in the whole world, okay? Like today, like my interview went so badly. I I called the interviewer mom. Okay? And now this now I can't find the remote. My life is like a train wreck of a dumpster fire. It's look, it's it's okay. I I know it was me, alright? Like I know it. Look, we were doing something, right? And then Anyway, I'm sure your interview was fine, all right? You always do so good. You're so fire. I doubt it, but... <sighs> Ta-da! Yes! Yeah. <laughs> okay, Ooh, look, okay. can we not watch another Nat Geo doc, no, please? No, no, definitely not. No, okay. <sighs> okay. What? Shit. No. Why isn't it working? Oh. Great. Damn it. Figures. I mean, you were supposed to get the batteries. Me? Yeah. I hate batteries. Gross. Between fossilized bones that might be found millennia from now and non-biodegradable plastics, the non-mortal remains of the human are petroleum-based creations. Those are what will stand out. in our planet's waters, negatively affecting the creatures that live there. But now scientists say they've detected the tiny particles in human blood for the first time. Recently, experts tested the blood of 22 anonymous donors, finding microplastics in 80% of them. As this is a concerning prospect, he explains that the particles are in the blood and capable of moving around the body, raising questions about whether the bits of plastic may find themselves lodged in organs. Explaining, are the particles retained in the body? Are they transported to certain organs, such as getting past the blood-brain barrier? And are these levels sufficiently high to trigger disease? Search so we can find out. Did you know that if you could fast forward 10,000 years, you'd find a little line of plastic? What happened to those people? Well, they ate their own plastic and disrupted their genetic structure and weren't able to reproduce. They didn't last very long. 